Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another What's Crack? I like it in the dark world! Let's get to it! Well, with San Diego Comic Con a few days away, stuff keeps pouring from companies of what they're gonna have on display at San Diego Comic Con, and it is just pure awesomeness. So let's start with statues! And in statues, let's start with Enter Bay. Bill posted a picture of the um, Black Label Bruce Lee statue, which is the first statue on this line, and it's looking pretty sexy. First Four Figures posted a picture, a teaser picture, of their next Master Arts statue, and it's Ganondorf. And this is gonna be a grail for sure. It's gonna be very epic. Kotobukiya posted a picture of their um, design work by the Silver Brothers of the upcoming Daredevil statue. They also posted a picture, Star Wars Celebration 6 exclusive, which is R286, and it's an Artifacts Plus statue. It's four inches tall, and of course, it would be available at Star Wars Celebration in Orlando. Woohoo! Um, Pop Culture Shock Collectibles posted a picture of their uh, Sub-Zero from the classic line, which we think is Sub-Zero, but then it's the ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero, but it has the Scorpion pose, so everybody thought it was Scorpion, but then it's Sub-Zero, but it's not, it's a, it's a, it's a mess. But apparently it is Sub-Zero, and apparently it is from the uh, Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate, so we'll see whenever we, whenever it's painted and fully dressed. But it's looking pretty cool, I like the whole classic line feel of the, uh, of the line. Um, from Sideshow Collectibles, a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, first off, the Batman looks like it's almost done, and I'm sure it will be at San Diego Comic Con. As you can see in the pictures with uh, Poison Ivy Premium Format and the um, Joker Premium Format. Can't wait to see this completely. Um, they are also working on a Boba Fett life-size statue, which is pretty sick because I would love to have that dude right next to me because that would be awesome. Um, they posted a picture of the Darth uh, Malgus Premium Format. Um, head sculpt. Um, obviously, we're gonna have the whole figure eventually. I'm sure it will be a San Diego Comic Con if I'm not mistaken, but um, don't quote me on that. Um, they're also working on a Diablo statue. They posted a picture of the uh, work in progress. I think it's still a digital sculpt, but we'll see that soon. Um, surprised by the Duke Nukem Premium Format. No, it's not even a Premium Format, it's just a Polystone statue, but um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm sure. Doug Nukem fans will be all over this piece. It's pretty awesome. It comes with two heads. Um, one of the heads is named Kikath and Chew Gum Head, which is a serious face, and the other one, which is the classic um, Stogie um, head. And, uh, oh my god. <laughs> so I just posted a video uh, today of their. Um, it's like a teaser video of what they're gonna have Marvel high end related at the San Diego Comic Con, and Galactus was there, and all I can say is wow. If you look at the picture, um, put together by um, Computerfly, it's just amazing. Just pieces from the video put together and you can see the awesomeness that this piece is. 33 inches tall, oh, that's right. Um, also very amazed by the uh, by just the head of um, Commander Shepard from uh, Mass Effect 3. This is a premium format and this thing is looking, it's just gonna be amazing, definitely for sure. And I'm sure it's gonna be at San Diego Comic Con and can't wait to see pictures of it and videos, of course. Um, Poison Ivy Premium Format, so it was in a comic head like I suspected um, last week, but it is a full premium format, so it's quarter scale and it's looking very sexy. The exclusive version comes with a um, with the plants alive, like with the mouth open and stuff. Very nice, right? But she is so sexy. It's a fantastic sculpt for this statue. Um, also, Red Skull a life size um, bust, which is pretty cool. It looks uh, pretty disgusting, but again, it's Red Skull. Um, we also got to see Scarlet Witch, the, um, the the premium format, which they actually have uh, for pre-order, and it comes with the, um, there's two different versions. There's an exclusive version that comes with the uh, hex power in one of the hands, and then the normal version does not come with that power. It's just the hand going, Bzzz. And um, the other picture of the uh, regular one shows the Vision PF, which has not been announced yet, but I'm suspecting it would be a San Diego since you can see in the picture, it's pretty much complete. That would be cool. Um, they also posted um, for pre-order the uh, Superman life-size bust, 
which is pretty epic. It's Superman. Yes, that's the cornerstone of your collection right there. Boom. And um, from Vertex, which is a very un it's a new new company. I haven't really heard of it too much. That uh, they are doing a one six scale um, entry plug cockpit. For uh, for Aska from Evangelion, and it's one six scale, like I said, and it's pretty humongous. Anyways, let's move on to one six scale collectibles. <laughs> and in one six scale collectibles, let's start with Hot Toys. They announced that they're gonna put out another Ape Explorers figure, the Apex Work Robot, which is a collab with Winston Creations looking fantastic can't wait to see this love everything that comes out of that line even though I don't own it <laughs> um, also for pre-order is the uh, new Batman DX which you can see why um, um, it's it's they made another one the the, the advances um, on all the techniques they've been using and materials and everything it, it, it shows it shows the veil sculpt is fantastic um, they also showed a picture of the Bane action figure on top of the desert camo tumbler, which means we're obviously gonna get that tumbler, which is pretty badass. I'm really pumped. Um, new pictures of the um, bat, which is the uh, the plane helicopter thing that Batman uses in the new movie, and it's in one six scale, of course, and it's humongous. And the new pictures just look impressive. I can't wait to see this in person, and I'm sure it will be at San Diego. So I will be missing this, but it's going to be fantastic. Also from Sideshow Collectibles, the Baroness Sneak Peek from, uh, from the 1-6 scale line, of course. And it looks, it's looking just like the, the back card from the uh, original 1-18 uh, scale action figure. Looking phenomenal. The San Diego Comic Con exclusive um, Commander Fox is up for pre-order. It's actually in stock, my bad. It is in stock. And you can buy it right now, so you don't have to go to San Diego. You can just click, but and it's looking fantastic because it's a clone, and clones look awesome. And last but not least, for pre-order is the other San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which is the Captain America Rescue Uniform version. Now, the only pet peeve I have about this is the uh, the face. The head sculpt really doesn't look like the actor. Other than that, the figure looks amazing. Anyways. Let's move on to one quarter scale collectibles. One fourth, baby! Any one fourth, all we got is one bit of news, and it's from Enter Bay, and it's just pictures that Bill posted on his um, Facebook, which you can see Batman in the uh, foam getting ready to be uh, packed up and chipped, and the uh, articulation of the suit from the knee. So, pretty impressive. Very nice. Let's go to vinyl! And in vinyl, we get Hot G's newest um, piece, which is the uh, turtle backed clutter monk. And it looks impressive as hell. Remember last week I was talking about turtles? They was doing something with turtles? That's exactly what it was doing. It is fantastic. Again, only 10 made, and it is impressive as hell. Love it. Um, Circling through pictures from uh, Kit Roba's um, um, party of the new 2012 series, the release series, I saw this picture of Jesse Hernandez, Mega Azteca, which is pretty freaking awesome. Look how big that thing is. And I peed my pants. For real. It looks amazing. I can't wait to own this bitch. I am pumped. And last but not least, Rotobox, which I am a big fan of, they are awesome, um, are going to be at freaking such uh, such. At San Diego Comic Con, I'm pumped, and um, I'm pumped, and I suck for not going and not meeting them in person. But yeah, they're gonna be at San Diego, and as you can see from the picture, they're gonna be at the booth 4,937. So please check them out; they freaking rock. All right, let's go to everything else. And on everything else, all we got is two Play Arts Kai figures, all from. Devil May Cry 3. We got Dante and we get Virgil. So, they're looking pretty sexy, of course. I hope they don't have any of the problems the other Kai's figures are having. But other than that, looking awesome. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And again, all the links are 
on my website to all we have discussed in this episode. Thanks for watching. You guys rock. I love you.